Deathloop is a first-person shooter game that's available on PlayStation 5 and PC. You play as an assassin who must figure out how to break a time loop as well as defeating several targets called visionaries along the way. In this video, we will be looking at the settings related to the motor accessibility of the game, such as toggle options, game speed adjustments, and controller remapping. We will be looking at the console version of the game, however all settings in this video can also be found on the PC version. Footage has been captured directly on a PS5 console from the PS5 version of the game. You can choose how many times you can resurrect in the level if your HP reaches zero by changing the number of reprises. You can set this to zero, one, two, three, four, or infinite. You can lock the aim assist so the crosshairs lock onto enemies while aiming down sights. You can choose whether the hacking and aiming actions are performed by a hold or a toggle. One shot kills will make all of your attacks defeat an enemy immediately. The attacks include shooting, machete swings and grenades. For difficulty, you can choose between default, lenient or harsh. Harsh difficulty makes enemies attack more often and more accurately. With lenient difficulty, the enemies are the least aggressive and accurate in their attacks. Turning on the lock loop stress prevents difficulty from increasing each time you defeat a visionary, therefore keeping the difficulty consistent throughout the game. You can adjust the game speed by slowing it down to 50% or 75%. You can choose whether the slowdown is always on or set as a toggle. Turning on tag multiple enemies allows you to use the tag action on more than one enemy in your field of view, so that they are marked and you can track them more easily. You can choose whether bringing up the weapon wheel and gadget wheel pauses the game, so you can select your weapon or gadget without enemies attacking. You can adjust the menu cursor speed sensitivity, ranging from 50 to 150. You can set whether your sprint action is performed with a hold, a press or a toggle. You can invert the up down and left right camera movements. By default, moving the right stick up moves it up and down moves it down. Turning on invert Y axis swaps these movements around so that moving the right stick up will move the camera down and pushing it down will move it up. You can also invert the camera movements from the x-axis, which does left and right camera movements. You can also swap the stick functions over so that the right stick controls movement and left stick controls the camera. The sensitivity of the right stick can be adjusted. You can adjust the x-axis and y-axis separately, ranging from 0 to 100. You can add extra sensitivity on top of the axis adjustments for when aiming down sights between 0 to 100. The Auto Aim model options allows you to change how much assistance you have whilst aiming. The Friction option will slightly slow down camera movements when near a target. The Iron Sight Snap will make the crosshair snap to a close target when aiming down sights. You can choose to have both these options on simultaneously, one of them turned on or none. If friction is turned on, 
you can adjust the auto aim strength ranging from 0 to 100. The intensity of the controller vibration can be adjusted ranging from 0 to 100. You can turn off the adaptive triggers for L2 and R2 so that they don't provide any tension or resistance. You can remap the button inputs in the controller mapping section. However, you are unable to remap individual joystick directions, the options button or the create button. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any further questions about the motor accessibility of this game, please get in touch with Special Effect. For game developers who are interested in more video examples of how developers have improved the motor accessibility of their games for players, please visit the Special Effect Dev Kit at specialeffectdevkit.info.